increasing, decreasing, or constant? We saw it was pretty obvious, right? But I want something, here's the biggest mistake that students make, because it's really easy, but people mess it up all the time. When we are in introducing intervals, we're only talking about the intervals where, the gra where we're gonna describe it using the only the x values, okay? So you guys read from left to right, correct? You read left to right. So, from the left to the right. Picture yourself like a little man walking. He's following this little function, all right? Now, this arrow is going to continue going all the way down, right? So the farthest left we're going to be going is in negative infinity, right? So from negative infinity to the first interval, where it looks like it's changing, is 1, correct? So my increase is my graph, is my function increasing or decreasing from that value? Increasing. So what we'd write is we'd write increasing. So it's increasing on the interval negative infinity to 1. I'm not concerned how high the function is. I'm not saying it's increasing from this amount to how high this amount. I'm just saying from the x interval. Remember how domain was only x, right? We only cared about x. You asked me about like graphing. I said, don't worry about graphing. Just know from the values of x going left and right. Same thing with increasing and decreasing. What, inter what x intervals is the graph increasing? Negative infinity to 1. What other, interval is, what other x intervals is it increasing? from 3 to 5. Now let's look at decreasing. When is the graph going down? What intervals is the graph going down? Yes, sir. 1 to 3. 1 to 3. And where else? Yes, very good. So 1 to 3, and then 5 to infinity. Does everybody can see that? Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of. All right, the next thing is phones. Man, we got a big issue with phones. 